Now, how will this change the events of the series? Let's just say that the Dinobots end up somewhat leading the assault against Megatron. And, well, unlike Ultra Magnus, who kind of gets his butt whooped by Megatron, Because if we take a look back at that one episode where Ultra Magnus somewhat led the attack against Megatron, you kind of see that he stood no chance. If anything, uh, Ultra Magnus just got destroyed, honestly. He just got destroyed. There was no way he stood a chance. But if you bring someone or some people like the Dinobots, I'm pretty sure things would go differently. If anything, I would say the Decepticons would actually struggle a little bit here. Without the use of the Predacon. There will be no way that Team Prime would win. Oh, the Decepticons would win, my bad. Team Prime would most likely win. Like, most likely possible. Like, if we take a look back at the original episodes of Transformers Prime, we saw that the only way how Team Prime was managed to get rid of the Predacon was by simply opening up a ground bridge to send him to Antarctica where he froze. froze. That was only a temporary solution until, well, in the later episode, he made a comeback. But since the Predacon is dead in this, in this what if, that means that Septicons will not be able to use this particular Predacon again. Meaning that a new Predacon will have to take his place. If Shockwave wave ever makes one. And of course, knowing the rivalry between Grimlock and Shockwave, most likely Grimlock will want to go after Shockwave. But we can kind of say that one of the Dinobots was managed to remind. Grimlock, that they need to save the planet first. And then, Grimlock can have his revenge. Can settle the score for what Shockwave did to him. We could say that Shockwave went, ran through a lot of experiments to Grimlock, like in Transformers Fall of Cybertron, aka the most popular Transformers game in history. Or even... And better yet, we can even say that Shockwave killed a few members of Grimlock's team. And Grimlock wants to settle the score. But I'm pretty sure he would listen to his friends, and of course, he will resume the mission to destroy the tower. If all of the Dinobots gang up on Megatron, I'm pretty sure there'll be no way that Megatron would stand a chance. So even if Optimus Prime does arrive there in the same way that he did in the actual episode, <clears throat> I would say he'll be a little too late to fight Megatron. If anything, he would be already late, and of course, he would reunite with the Dinobots. The Dinobots have successfully saved the planet, and of course, all is well, ends well. Well, maybe except for the Decepticons, because we could say that some of the Decepticons lost a lot of valuable members to their cause. Of course,
course, another thing that also could happen is, well, the Dinobots. You see, in the Transform Prime series, the Autobots have to be in vehicle mo form in order to someone disguise themselves around when they're going through, like, towns or cities or stuff like that. <coughs> Since the Dinobots, well, have dinosaur forms, that would be difficult for them to travel around. If anything, I think Optimus Prime could suggest Grimlock and the Dinobots to, like, probably go into secure areas, maybe like, say, forests or anything that can cover them. Once again, depending on Grimlock's personality, if you have his personality to be the same as, well, War for Cybertron, Grimlock, then basically, uh, I'm pretty sure he would disagree, or maybe he could agree. Another thing, or if you have his personality to be like the G1 Grimlock, or just a bit nicer, I'm pretty sure he would, wouldn't mind listening to Optimus Prime. Okay. Of course, Megatron would be devastated at this humiliating feat. Anyways, so basically, yeah, I would say that Megatron would probably result into Project Predacon. Project Predacon was basically a somewhat beast hunting game or something like that, where Megatron was going after Predacon bones, and Optimus Prime had to rename his team into Beast Hunters. Of course, the same thing will happen, but unlike in the original series where somewhat it was kind of a tie between Autobot and Decepticons, where basically Team Prime gets some bones and relocates them somewhere else where Megatron can't get them, or just possibly destroy them completely. And of course, the Decepticons gaining some Predacon bones. So what would happen if the Dinobots were in Transformers Prime? If anything, I would say... Most likely... Um, Team Prime would definitely be winning when it comes to getting Predacon bones, with the help of the Dinobots. If anything, I think it would be kind of rare for Megatron and the Decepticons to gain a Predacon bone. Anyway, so, yeah, basically, like I said before, Um, the Predacon, Project Predacon would take far, far longer than it did in the actual series. And because of this, Project Predacon ended up becoming very slow, at least on Earth. Maybe on on Cybertron, that would be a different story. On Cybertron, it might be a little easier for them. Unless Team Prime makes a space bridge and they make their way to Cybertron and start destroying all the remains of the Predacons 
if that does happen, then then that one Transform Prime movie would never really happen. Because without that movie, we would not get like an epic showdown between Optimus and Unicron. And of course, a Megatron Redemption arc. I'm pretty sure some of the events that happened within the major se- within the series probably will remain the same, with the exception of probably Project Predacon. If anything, I think Project Predacon would still end up being destroyed, just like in the main timeline. Now, depending if they destroy uh, Project Predacon on Cybertron, then it could be possible rather two ways. It could be possible that Megatron discovers Cyberforming on Cybertron because of, well, the explosion, if they do use a explosion, to destroy the Predacon clones. If they don't, then most likely Megatron will not discover Start were forming, and as a result, he would not be so helped in to rebuild, um, to rebuild the um, Omega Lock, which this was a big deal for the last few episodes of Transformer Prime, because with that. Um, the Autobots were able to go home, but without that, they are kind of stuck on Earth. So, yeah, without the Omega Lock, there will be no way for Team Prime to even get back to Cybertron. We can even say that Megatron grows desperate in the end and just decides to launch a full-on out attack on the Autobots. At this point, Megatron is desperate and he just wants to win the war. The Autobots are winning because of the Dinobots. With the Dinobots, they are actually winning. And this would probably result in the death of Megatron, just like in the original series. And without the Omega Lock, we activating Cybertron, Unicron will have no reason to be a major threat. Unless there was another idea that Unicron could come back. But I don't see how. So, there you go. There's my what if on what if the Dinobots were in Transformers Prime. Basically, a lot of things would change. Some things will remain the same, while others will remain. Mm-hmm like really, really different. So in the end, the Dinobots would have a massive impact on Transformers Prime in a way that Ultra Magnus kinda somewhat impacted the series, although not as majorly as the Dinobots. The Dinobots somewhat saved the world. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, and tell me in the comments below, what do you think what would happen if the Dinobots appeared in Transformers Prime? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day, everyone. See ya.